boys! Welcome to the stream. Tonight, I'm going to be building an aircraft carrier. Uh, we're going to be playing Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to go under your advanced settings. You're going to want to scroll all the way down. And right here, increase platform structure limit. You're going to want to increase that to the max, which I have mine set to 5.0. Uh, with that, we are ready to go. We're going to start the build off with the uh, the motor boat. We're going to be laying some foundations. Uh, the main portion of the boat's going to be three foundations thick. So we're going to want to uh, center up this foundation. And I'm going to try to line up the bottom with the, uh, the, the line of bolts. All right, once we got that foundation placed, we're going to need to sink that down into the boat. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to have to place a pillar on top of that foundation, just like that. And then, uh, when we go to place the foundation, it should sink down, something like that. And you're basically gonna repeat the process. I'm gonna have to like, pre-do this before the stream so it's not an hour of me oh no what did i do what did i do why did i do that all right so we're gonna restart this let's let's redo this part once the uh the foundation sunk to the appropriate height we're just gonna fill in the rest of the boat. At this point, it should be uh, a two by three. And we'll just change these over. We'll switch these to blocks. So now that we have that foundation placed, we're going to uh, extend from the, uh, the front of the ship. We're gonna use the triangle ceilings. We'll just do a row of those, and we're going to attach the triangle foundations to the bottom of it. Once the foundations are set, we'll just pick up or destroy the, uh, the metal triangle ceilings. See, we're going to attach metal uh, ceilings to the front of that, and we're going to attach the metal foundations. Once those are placed, we'll pick up or destroy the, uh, the ceilings. Once those are set, we're going to place more triangle ceilings. At this point, we're going to form a point, and we'll connect the foundation to the bottom of that. And same process. And then we'll switch these to blocks. Now the back of the boat. We're going to extend it out five foundations. So in order to do that, same process. We'll build the ceilings. We'll attach the foundations uh, underneath those. We're going to repeat the process on the other side. Once those are all set, we're going to change these to blocks. Once we have uh, this portion established, we're going to extend uh, this piece back uh, just by one foundation. It'll be the piece right behind the motor. We'll also switch this to block. Once you've placed that, we're going to extend a staircase off of this foundation. And we're going to want to switch it to a ramp. Once that's placed, we're just going to connect some ceilings as a floor. And from the back of the boat, we're going to use the metal triangle ceiling. And we're just going to form a lip off the back end. Now with everything placed, this should be the base of your boat. We're ready to start building upwards. 
this point, the back, we're going to use the, uh, the double door. We're just going to stack two of them on top of each other. We're going to use the metal wall. We're just going to wrap around the corner. Uh, port side of the ship, it's going to be one wall, followed by two double doors, followed by another wall. And then we're going to place a, a door frame here. And then we're just going to use walls and we're just going to wrap around to the other side of the boat. Once we get to this point, we're going to place another double door. And then from here, more walls. Now the second to last, we're actually going to place another door frame here. And we're going to finish it off with more walls. Now with everything set here, we're going to make another lip based off of uh, where the metal door frame is. And we're just going to extend that back to the back of the boat. On this side, we're going to place a metal triangle ceiling. And we're just going to make another lip back towards uh, where the double door frames are. From this point, we're going to be using metal fence foundations, and we're going to be placing those here. I'll explain the reasoning on why we're doing that here in a second. So we'll place those there at those double doors, and we're going to place another fence foundation on this one. All right, now the reasoning that we're doing that is for uh, first to be able to attach a metal railing. We're going to place that on the uh, the fence foundation. We'll do that for both double doors on the, uh, the port side and on starboard. Same thing. Now we're ready for the deck. We're going to be using the metal ceiling and we're going to be cornering it up. Now with this, I try to get it to where these two uh, rectangular pieces within the, the ceiling, they're going to be facing uh, towards the front of the ship. Uh, we're going to do that because when everything's placed and it comes time to actually paint the deck, uh, we're going to paint those yellow to where they look like uh, deck markings. But we're just going to continue that all the way down. We're going to stop right here to where it's almost even with the, uh, the front of the, the ship. Now for the third row, we're just going to go, uh, we're going to go four ceilings in. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to skip over one, two, three. And then on the fourth one, we're going to place more ceilings. Front of the ship, uh, triangle ceilings. And the back of the ship, we're going to we're gonna build some more uh, triangle ceilings. However, we're not going to attach it to the metal ceilings. We're actually going to attach it to the, the metal walls. Now from here, we're going to attach more triangle ceilings, and we're not going to bridge them off of the, the ceilings. We're going to connect those to the, the, uh, the metal walls, and this is going to be, uh, it's going to be three uh, triangle ceilings uh, forward, so that's going to be one, two, and three. We're going to do the same on the other side. One, two, three. So 
from here, we're going to take a metal wall and we're going to attach it to our uh, two back metal ceilings or metal triangle ceilings. And we're going to go with a double door on the end. The reason why we skipped a couple of these is at this point we're actually going to place a billboard. And we're going to place that on the, uh, uh, the metal foundation below deck. And you're going to want to line it up with these two metal walls that we placed. Once you place the billboard, uh, we can actually fill in the rest of the deck. So we'll go one ceiling, second ceiling, and then the final piece, we're actually going to use a uh, hatch frame. Now from this point, we're going to be, we're going to be building the, uh, the control tower. Uh, off of this double door, it's going to be a wall, we'll do another wall. It's going to be a double door, and we're going to wall around this corner. From here, we're going to go with a double door frame and another, uh, another double door frame. Inside, we're going to make a door frame to where it's kind of angled, and we're going to connect another wall to it. it. Wants to cooperate. Ah, eh, that'll work. Close enough. From this point, we're going to take metal triangle ceilings, and we're just going to extend those all the way back. So from here, we're going to take uh, the metal ceilings, and we're just going to connect those. So we're going to place one, two, we're going to skip one, we're going to place three here. Uh, the reason for, we're going to place a hatch frame in that area. Once that is placed, uh, in this back corner, we're going to place another double door frame. Make sure all this is the same height. There's going to be three double door frames in the back corner. Uh, where the hatch frame is, we're actually going to place a window frame. And we're going to continue with the double door frames. Now here's going to be a balcony, so we're actually going to build metal railings at that, uh, at that point. And to finish it off, we're going to place another double door frame. And then here, we're going to place just a regular door frame. And two more walls. Now with that placed, we're going to roof it in. We're going to start off with a metal hatch frame. It's going to be placed in this back corner. And then we're just going to use metal ceilings and metal triangle ceilings. Now that the roof is placed, uh, we're going to form a little fenced in area. We're going to be using the railings. We're going to start where the, the window frame is. We're going to place a railing there. We're going to extend it one towards the front of the ship. Then we're going to uh, make a 90 degree turn. Place another one. We're just going to wrap it around. Your fenced in area should look like that. Now from here, we're going to be placing a metal, uh, a metal pillar, and we're going to be capping it off with a metal ceiling. 
from the metal ceiling, we're going to be extending a catwalk from it. And it's going to be on both sides. Once that's placed, we're going to build another metal pillar along with another metal ceiling. From here, we're going to be placing uh, fence foundations. And we're going to want to try to get it to where it overhangs on the catwalk. Once those are placed, we're going to place a flag in the middle. And once the flag is placed, we're going to finish it off with a metal pillar. From the top, now we're going to fence uh, the top ceiling in. Alright, now once that's placed, now we're going to move on to the tricky part. We're going to take the metal triangle roofs, and we're going to connect it to the bottom of this, uh, this tower. There we go. From there, the uh, the bottom of your control tower should look uh, exactly like this. Now from here, we're going to use metal uh, triangle ceilings. Uh, we're not going to place it here, we're just going to extend it forward just one. Place one, two, three. On this side, uh, we're going to place one. It's going to be in line with where our hatch frame is. We're going to go one, two, three. On this side, uh, it's going to be uh, right here. One, two, three. Once those are placed, we're ready to uh, to fence in the uh, the deck of the boat. While we're placing the fencing, we're going to fence in uh, these areas as well. Once those are placed, uh, I think it's time to place our, our ladders. And then now we're going to be filling in uh, the doors and windows and, and uh, trap doors and whatnot. From here, the uh, the ship is actually pretty much built. Uh, the last thing we really need to do is just paint uh, the certain sections of it. Uh, we'll start off at the top, painting our banner. We'll move down to uh, these double doors. Uh, the doors for the uh, the top floor of the tower. Uh, we're going to want to paint these. We're going to be using uh, a black paintbrush. And we're going to be painting region 6.
Once those are painted, moving down to uh, the next deck, we're going to paint this door, same thing, region 6. And we're going to paint the, uh, the billboard. And last but not least, we're going to be painting the, uh, the very bottom of the ship red. That's going to include the, uh, the double door frame as well. And we can't forget to paint the uh, the deck. And I like uh, using the, uh, the slate coloring. I think black is just too dark for, uh, for the deck markings. But we're going to start. It's not going to be the first line. It's going to be the second row. We're going to skip the first ceiling from the back of the boat. And we'll paint the second one. It'll be region one. So we'll go one. Once that's placed, uh, the final piece to finish the ship, we're going to use yellow dye. And we're going to be painting region 4. And with that painted, that completes the build.